Hi and welcome to Rainbow Unicorn Cat One channel. This is another unboxing video and today we're unboxing this My Life as kitchen appliance playset. I admit we have enough kitchen appliances and food items from American Girl brand, from our generation brand. So I didn't really need to buy this set, which by the way retails at $25, which is pretty affordable. But I saw it had an air fryer and it was a done deal for me. <laughs> I love my own air fryer, so of course I had to get one for my dolls. You can buy this set at select Walmarts or at walmart.com. Another thing that I appreciate in addition to the air fryer being included is that this set is not pink. I like that it's this kind of light turquoise color, which is more adult collector friendly. And actually, I do have a frying pan that's almost exactly the same color. And if you buy it for your child, they're still gonna love it. It's a pretty color anyway. My Life As is not my favorite brand of 18-inch dolls accessories after American Girl brand. I would give that place to our generation. And with My Life As, for me, they kind of hit or miss. But this set is definitely up there. It's a great set. It's possibly my favorite My Life Has set. It has four appliances and some of them are interactive. And this costs $25 and it comes with food. I mean, can it get any better? Okay, so here is the blender, which looks pretty realistic. It's a cute blender. It, if you press a button, like the blade moves. You see that here? It doesn't make any blending sounds, which is okay with me. You can put some smaller pieces of fruit in there if you have them and pretend that you're making a smoothie. And if you're an adult collector, this makes for a very realistic looking appliance. I love the colors. Not everything has to be pink. So this set is really, really great for an adult collector which we don't always get with other brands okay here's the air fryer and this is my favorite item from this set if they didn't have it i would not have bought it look how realistic it looks this stainless steel finish is so real this compartment part comes out and you you can put whatever you want to like pieces of chicken vegetables and air fry it and you can see even inside it looks realistic it's it's just so cute I have a slightly different air fryer. It has two compartments. I wish I could get the one in the mini version, but this one will do, definitely will do. And the black button on the top doesn't do anything. You can't even really press it. This is a very standard looking coffee maker. It's not a single brew or espresso machine. It's just your regular drip coffee that you'll get in most diners. I like how it actually has coffee inside and it's transparent just enough to make it look like real coffee. This appliance is more interactive than the air fryer. First, I'm going to put the pot in the coffee machine and you see it has this parts in the bottom so it fits right there and kind of stays in place. Now I'm going to press the button in the front and see what it does. So it makes these coffee making noises, which I think is pretty cool. The time on the screen cannot be changed. It's just a sticker. Overall, I think it's a very realistic looking appliance. The last appliance in this set is a toaster and it comes with two slices of bread that are inside. Let's take a look at the bread. It does look very real. It has some texture, the shape is right and it goes into the slots on the top. This is what the dials on one side look like. And then there's this thing on the side that we usually use to get toasts, go into the toaster and start toasting. I wonder if it actually does something. Let's put these two slices of bread inside. Now, what does it do? I'm gonna press down. Okay, it pops up, nice. Okay, so it does work. This is the interactive part of this toaster. 
So far, I'm really impressed with all four appliances. It's nothing too fancy. There's not too much electronic component, but they work. They do the job and they look very, very real. I'm not especially thrilled with this oven mitt. I don't really like the pattern. I don't like the color. It's a cute oven mitt. I'm probably not gonna use it. But if you were curious what it looks like, this is what it looks like. This absolutely adorable frying pan comes with a lid. It's made in a beautiful turquoise color. This is how the lid goes on top. And the knob on the lid is also turquoise, but the lid itself is transparent. Here are some carrots that you can use to saute in the frying pan. They perfectly fit in that pan. Now let's put this to the side and see what else we got in the set. Now the pan comes with two fried eggs and two slices of bacon. They used a lot of scotch tape when they packaged this. Uh, <laughs> let's peel it off. The eggs look pretty realistic to me, by the way. Bacon, not so much, but it still gets the message across. There's no way you'd mistake that bacon for anything else. This is a very basic pan. I love the color. That's the thing that makes me like it so much. It matches the color of the other one. The sunny side up eggs look really good, very real. The bacon doesn't look very real, but it's still clearly bacon. This is probably meant to be a saucepan. It comes in the same nice light turquoise color, and it also comes with this, uh, this chunk of peas and carrots, which you can put on the plate, and it's gonna look good on the plate too. Here are some kitchen utensils. It comes with this, I don't know what this thing is called, cup you store your utensils in it. If you know what this thing is called, let me know in the comments. Anyway, here's a spatula. Looks pretty realistic. I like how the handles are matching the rest of the cookware. Here's a knife. This is a cutting knife, not just a steak knife or a butter knife or anything like that. Here's a ladle, also realistic looking, also matching colors. Really, really cute. And tongs. Of course, we need to use those when something is maybe hot or you just don't want to touch it with your hands. And when I say you, I mean your dolls. <laughs> we also got two mugs with coffee in it. I'm assuming it's coffee. It could be very dark tea, but since we got a coffee maker, it's got to be coffee. And the color is not exactly the color of black coffee, so there's got to be some creamer in them but they're not too light either. Anyway, very neutral, very basic, very cute. This is the kind of mugs I see at diners a lot, but not so much in people's houses. Here are two bowls. They're great for cereal, oatmeal, soups, or salad. Very basic, very neutral. I love that they're just white. I often wish that sets like this would include enough dinnerware for more than two people. I'm not really crazy about buying another set just to get two more matching plates or bowls or mugs. Anyway, it turns out that the saucepan comes with a lid and also has a knob that matches the color. Look how cute. Fits right in and stays in place. And here we got more silverware and dinnerware for two people. We got two plates that are white and we got a spoon and a fork. We also got two short stacks of pancakes. I think they're short, but I'm actually, there are five of them. That's actually might be considered tall in IHOP. So they have a piece of butter on the top and some brown syrup, which I'm not sure if it's supposed to be maple syrup or chocolate syrup. Anyway, they're realistic enough. And we also have some berries in this set. 
that you could use to make a fruit salad in a bowl or you can put them on top of pancakes. I'm just going to put them separately in a bowl for now but if you're combining this set with other sets you can also use them for pastries. If you have oatmeal you can put it on top of oatmeal. We also got two fruit cups, berry cups, whatever you call them. One is strawberry, one is blueberry, and the berry part comes out of the bowls. That way you can use the bowls for something else too. I'm really impressed with the amount of detail on the berries. As you can see, like the strawberry looks really real. The milk carton is very basic. It's made out of cardstock. Very generic. I very much prefer the one that we previously made. By the way, if you haven't seen this tutorial, I'll put the link to it in the description box below. But if you don't want to do anything, this the one that comes with this set is good enough. Okay, so we got some fries and other things on a baking sheet or a cookie sheet, depending on what you're going to do with it. Are these curly fries? I think they are. Oops. Yeah, there's a bunch of them and they're not attached in one piece so you can rearrange them any way you want, which I guess is really good. Okay, so this is a piece of fried chicken. You can put it in the air fryer. That could be air fried fried chicken or you could put it on this pan. You see there's a little white bone in there. It's like really detailed, surprisingly. It's a piece of broccoli, two of them. So if you're making a setting for two dolls, they could each have one on their plate, very realistic. And let's take a look at this mac and cheese side. Also realistic, kind of plain, okay? So it can be on its own or it can be a side for a dinner. I'm really impressed how this fries looked. I'm impressed that my life has went through the trouble of making the shape differently than traditional fries. It's extra work, but they did it. So this set is a little bit more unique, more interesting. Here's a steak, a T-bone steak, and it looks raw. I'm not really crazy about it, but I guess you can pretend that it's raw so you could cook it and you can just put it on the plate. If it was cooked, I'd kind of uh, blush it with brown pastels. And here is uh, another piece of fried chicken, I'm guessing, a drumstick. So you can have two plates with different dinner arrangements. Somebody gets the fries and somebody gets mac and cheese. Somebody gets steak. It looks like my life has went with a cheap option for the glasses. These definitely look like communion cups to me. You can buy a bunch of them on Amazon for really cheap. And the last thing I wanted to mention is let's take a look at this part of this plastic le leftovers. It looks like a plate. So if you wanted an extra plate or an extra bowl, you could cut out some of them and use them. You can either spray paint them or keep them transparent. It's up to you. Overall, it's a really fantastic set. For just $25, you get all of these. And that's a lot, especially compared to how much you'd get uh, in an American Girl set for a similar price. And the value is even better, in my opinion, for adult collectors because it's not pink or purple. It's great for realistic kitchen setups. And I rarely buy my life as sets, but this one had to come home. Let me know in the comments what you think about it, especially as an adult collector, and if you're planning to add this to your collection. As I mentioned before, this one was worth it for me just for the air fryer. I'm really happy with it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you enjoy all American Girl related content but not yet subscribed to our channel, I definitely recommend doing so. 
And if you turn on the notification bell, YouTube will always let you know when we upload a new video. We post all the latest American Girl news, crafts, and unboxing. We post every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but sometimes we post in other days as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time.